This video is inspired by young Pharaoh and the frustration that he is now going through. It's a frustration that many men endure in their lifetime when dealing with certain women, or better yet, certain females. In many cases, you have young men that choose the wrong women because they themselves don't have a father in the home to guide them, to lead them, and to impart wisdom to them. And there are those that do have their fathers in the home, but choose to ignore the father and his advice. And then they find themselves in the same situation that young Pharaoh is in regarding his children's mother. But I want to part some wisdom to a lot of the young men out there and even older men. They have not learned that keep making the same mistakes over and over and over again. Young men that tend to look at a woman's body parts, her butt, her breast, her smile. And make their choice and decision on what they see rather than what is real. And then once these children come into this world, they notice the women begin to change. They find themselves in family court. And these females are going for child support, refusing to allow them to see and even bond with their children. Their only concern is how much money they can get from this man. But I want to read the fifth chapter of Proverbs. And I want you to pay close attention, primarily young black males that don't have their fathers in the home. Pay close attention. My son, pay attention to my wisdom. Lend your ear to my understanding that you may preserve discretion and your lips may keep knowledge. For the lips of an immortal woman drop honey and her mouth is smoother than oil. But in the end, she is bitter as poison, sharp as a two-edged sword. Her feet go down to death her steps lay hold of hell, meaning the grave, lest you ponder her path of life, her always, her ways are unstable. You do not know them. Now, pay close attention to the description of the first few verses. It says that you may preserve discretion and your lips may be, your lips may keep knowledge. For the lips of an immortal woman drip honey. And her mouth is smoother than oil. A woman's soft voice does something to a man. A woman knows how to sweet talk a man. But in the end, she is bitter as wormwood, meaning poison. She's very poisonous. Too many men are listening to the smooth talk of a woman. The sweet voice of a woman. You ever hear audio of a woman's voice, you don't see her face, don't know anything about how she looks, but her voice sounds sweet and you tell her, wow, I wonder how this woman looks. She has a very sweet voice. 
It's that voice that captivates you. And there are so many men that fall into the trap of a woman's voice. Be led astray by the sweetness of her voice. The fourth verse says, And her mouth is smoother than oil. But in the end she is bitter as poison, sharp as a two-edged sword. Her feet go down to death. Her steps lay hold of hell, meaning the grave. Lest you ponder her path of life. Her ways are unstable. You do not know them. The seventh verse says, Therefore hear me now, my children, and do not depart from the words of my mouth. Notice he's stressing, don't part from the words of my mouth. Listen to what I'm saying to you. The eighth verse says, remove your way far from her and do not go near the door of her house, lest you give her honor to others and your years to the cruel one, lest aliens be filled with your wealth, in other words, strangers, and your labors Go to the house of a foreigner and you mourn at last when your flesh and your body are consumed. In other words, there's young men that have listened to the sweet voice of a woman that have caused them to lose their life. And everything that you work for in life now goes to someone else. And if your life is not lost and you end up in prison, now you have to pay. Everything you worked for, it now goes to lawyers. It goes to judges. It goes to Bell's bondsmen to get you out. Now you're starting to waste away the monies that you work hard for in life that you could have done something else with it, especially if you have children. So you have to really be careful in this day and time of the women you choose to be with. It says, how I have hated instruction. Now this is what you're saying when everything else crashes in on you. How have I hated instruction? And my heart despised correction. In other words, you don't want to listen to what nobody has to say. You grown. When somebody calls in to try to give you some type of wisdom or advice, you don't want to hear it because you're so angry and frustrated. So now you find yourself in a situation where you talk to yourself and say, how have I hated instruction? And my heart despised correction. I have not obeyed the voice of my teachers, your elders, the same elders that many so-called black males curse. In spite of what you may think or feel about that elder, he lived a long time and he's still alive. Whereas many young people are losing their lives before the age of 20. So the 13th verse says, I have not obeyed the voice of my teachers, nor inclined my ear to those who have instructed me. I was on the verge of total ruin in the midst of the assembly of congregation. Drink water from your own cistern, in other words, your own well, and running water from your own well. Should your fountains be dispersed abroad Streams of water in the street. In other words, the things that you're wasting in the streets, that you're scattering your wealth in the streets, that's wealth that could be that could benefit your own home. The 18th verse says, Let your fountains be blessed and rejoice with the wife of your youth. 
as a loving deer and a graceful doe. Let her breast satisfy you at all times and always be enraptured with her love. For why should you, my son, be enraptured by an immortal woman? Now, let me stop right there. Even when it comes to the so-called wives, because you got dudes out there that meet these girls, they have a little something, a little career. They may have something going for themselves, and these females, they see that. And they want to latch on to that because they want a life where you will take care of them. They don't want to go out and earn for themselves. They want what you got. So their laziness would submit to you. You marry these women. And then after a couple of years and a couple of children, now they choose to move on. But this was the wife of your youth. She chose to move on and now half or most of what you worked for goes to her. So you have to really be careful of the women that you choose to be with. Even though that you choose the marriage because in this day and time, so many young people and even older people have the wrong misconception of marriage. Because they get in with the mindset, if it doesn't work, I can get out of it. Right there, you're defeated. You're defeated even before you start. So when you get married, it has to be for better, for worse, for richer or poorer, for sickness and in health, for as long as you both may live. These are the vows that you take, but people don't take vows too serious nowadays. I would strongly recommend that young men, especially those that's got something going on for yourself, bury your head in your career. Go out there and bury your head in your career. Don't be quick to produce children. Don't be so quick to want to get a wife. Build your wealth. Later on in life, if you choose to marry, if you happen to meet a young lady that's not after what she think you have, you choose to marry her. And sometimes it's good to just play, play poor. Just pretend like you don't have anything just to see where her head is at. Because by you showing off these cars and this jewelry and these clothes and and you're flossing, showing all these stacks of money on the Internet, on social media. Well, these females don't want you for who you are. They want you for what they think they can get. Even if it means trapping you with children. Or with marriage. And then once you get married, you notice things begin to change. And then you would say everything was perfect before marriage. She used to cook before marriage. She used to clean before marriage. We used to have sex all the time before marriage. But after I said I do, everything changed. Because it was never in her heart in the first place. She was playing a game to get what she want. Now she's got what she want. And she's going to take you to the cleaners. And leave you high and dry. And talk about how much of a deadbeat you are. So you have to really be careful and know who you marry who you lay down with, who you produce children with. You lay down with dogs, you wake up with fleas. Do you hear me? You lay down with dogs, you wake up with fleas. The 21st says, 
For why should you, my son, be enraptured by an immortal woman and be embraced in the arms of a seductress? For the ways of man are before the eyes of the Lord, and he ponders all his paths. His own iniquities entrap the wicked man, and he is caught in the cords of his sin. He shall die for lack of instruction. And in the greatness of his folly, he shall go astray. I'm going to read that last 23rd verse again. Think about what it's saying. This is talking about your ruin. It's talking about your destruction because you choose the wrong woman. You end up in a situation like many men have. And it's not about color because there's a lot of white men that I know of that's going through the same thing. So it's not just a black thing. See? So when I say I understand what young Pharaoh is going through and I support him, I feel bad for him because there's a lot of potential there. But it's misguided potential. See, and it's hard for someone to step in and give him the wisdom, the knowledge, and the direction that he needs to go into because he's stuck in his own ways. He's going to reject it. But he opens himself up to people that's only seeking to destroy him, take advantage of him, to rob him. And they come like this woman does. Her voice is smooth as oil. A lot of men are coming with smooth voices too. See? But when you have wisdom, when you have instruction and guidance, you'll be able to pick up on those, those, those Ponzi schemes, as they say. And they won't like it. You will become the bad guy, but that's okay. Your money is in the bank. You don't have to worry about paying for lawyers and attorneys and bail bondsmen to get yourself out of jail or child support to a female that will not allow you to see your kids. That turn your own children against you. So the 23rd verse says, he shall die for a lack of instruction. And in the greatness of his folly, he shall go astray. That last verse is extremely powerful. See, so young men, you have to be careful who you lay down with. Be careful of these females that you choose to be with. You get on social media, on Instagram, these females are showing off their half-naked body. You become in a trance and mesmerized. Next thing you know, you're throwing your whole life savings at her. Paying for child support. And then raise the child to not like you. To speak evil against you. And then you become bitter. See, right now, young Pharaoh is bitter. And you can hear it in his voice. And he's got every reason to. I understand the bitterness to sin in his heart. And many men are going through that same thing. So feedback, tell me what you think, subscribe, click on the Cash App, support this channel. Until next time, I'm fearless.